I never thought it would happen to me. I never thought it would happen to me. Michael Mangum says he could feel someone staring at him as he shopped for light bulbs at the Walmart in Wood Village in March of 2020. The 61-year-old believed he was being racially profiled by a theft prevention employee. In the moment, I was, I was very, very angry. The Walmart worker told Mangum to leave. When he refused, the employee said he'd call police and falsely claimed Mangum had threatened to smash him in the face. So, so you're telling me right now he's going to trespass me from this property for what reason? Because he wants to. On Friday, a Multnomah County jury slapped Walmart with $4.4 million in damages. It's believed to be the largest verdict in a racial discrimination case in Oregon history. You know, people of color should be able to go into a store and shop and not be profiled. According to Mangum's attorney, Greg Kofori, the case is especially troubling because Walmart knew it had a problem with a loss prevention employee but failed to take action. Walmart knew they had a guy making false police reports and he stayed on. During a deposition, a Multnomah County sergeant explained how he warned Walmart's general manager about a repeated pattern of false reports and exaggeration coming from the store's loss prevention worker. Walmart thinks the police work for them. Walmart has no respect for the community. It has no respect for its customers. Uh, and news about this guy went all the way up to the corporate headquarters. Nothing happened. In response to the multi-million dollar verdict, Walmart said, we do not tolerate discrimination. We believe the verdict is excessive and is not supported by the evidence. Walmart claims Mangum was never stopped by store security and refused to leave. The retail giant is considering its next steps, including post-trial motions and possible appeal. This case is also significant because it falls under a new law that allows people to sue if anyone improperly calls police with the intent to discriminate or humiliate another person. The law was created by State Representative Janelle Bynum after she was racially profiled while canvassing door-to-door -door in her Clackamas neighborhood.